In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a spider web applique. This is a quick and beginner friendly project, perfect for the Halloween season. For this project, I will be using a four millimeter hook and three weight cotton yarn. You'll also need a darning needle, scissors, and I recommend using some fabric stiffener, but depending on your project, you may not need that. The finished applique is about three by three inches, but I'll explain how to make it bigger at the end of the tutorial. Stitches used in this pattern are the magic ring, single crochet, double crochet, and slip stitch. Let's get started. Begin with the magic ring and work four single crochets in the ring. One, two, three, and four. Pull the ring tight and work a slip stitch into the top of that first single crochet that you made. One, two, three, this one right here. All right, next up, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And our first three chains will count as a double crochet. Then work a double crochet in that same stitch. Next, you'll chain two. In the next stitch, work a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Double crochet, chain two, in that same stitch, another double crochet. And chain two. In the next stitch, we'll repeat. Work a double crochet, chain two, and another double crochet in that same stitch. And chain two. In your final stitch, work a double crochet. Chain two and another double crochet. To finish off, you'll chain two and then slip stitch into the third chain. So we have chain one, two, and our third chain right there. And that concludes round two. Now for round three, you'll chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And once again, these first three chains count as a double crochet. So we essentially have a double crochet and then chain one, two, three, four. Now on the top of the double crochet from round two will work a double crochet. Then chain four. And you'll skip over to the next double crochet from round two. Work a double crochet. And chain four. Repeat this all the way around. Double crochet. And chain four. Skip to the next double crochet. And chain four.
And to finish off, to join this round, you will slip stitch into the top of that third chain. So one, two, and three. Now for your next round, for round four, you will chain nine. So notice each round we increase by two chains. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Once again, one, two, three, double crochet, and then one, two, three, four, five, six chains. Find the next double crochet and work a double crochet. Now, after a double crochet, you'll chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and repeat this again. Double crochet in the top of the previous rounds, double crochet. Chain six. Double crochet. Chain six. And chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and slip stitch to the top of the third chain. One, two, one, two, and three. Now, if you wanted it to be bigger in our next round, you would simply increase the chains by two. So for example, for round five, uh, you would chain 11 to start and then double crochet and chain eight in the top of each double crochet from the previous round. Now, I'm done. This is my finished web size. Um, and you'll notice it's kind of just loose, doesn't hold its shape at all. So to really make it look like a web, I suggest using a fabric stiffener. I found this stiffener at my local Joann store and it works great. After applying the stiffener, I then pinned it to a blocking board to create the web shape that I wanted. If you're planning on stitching this to your project, you can skip the stiffener if you'd like and instead just sew in place on your project. This concludes the spiderweb applique tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and follow us on social media. Bye!